Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you all are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, let me tell you that this is an on-demand video. You guys were commenting me and messaging me that ma'am we want a video on MS Office and applications so that we can prepare well for the Accenture exam. Okay, so those who have their Accenture exam in the upcoming days, this video is really going to be very helpful for them. Okay, so make sure to watch the video till the very end. And also, if you haven't subscribed this channel till now, then make sure to do subscribe this channel along with the notification bell so that you will never miss any update from my side. Also guys, you can follow me on Instagram and join our Telegram community for free placement stuff material. Right, so let's begin with the video now. So first of all, let me take the pen. And these all are the questions from MS, of, uh, MS Office and Applications, right? So the very first question is, MS Word is an database management system? No. Presentation software? No. Spreadsheet? No. Word processing software? Yes. MS Word. In MS Word, what we do? We do processing related to Word. So this is a Word processing software. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Now, coming on to the next. So next question is, which of the following shortcut key is used to change the case of selected text? So to change the case of selected text plus F3. Now guys, I have already told that to make sure to learn all the shortcut keys. Okay, make sure to go on Google and check for the important shortcut keys. Okay, so and take a sheet from there and make sure to go through with that sheet because there are many questions asked from only shortcut keys so be prepared with all the shortcut keys at least most important shortcut keys you should know okay also i will give a, a cheat sheet of shortcut keys in the telegram committee so make sure to join the telegram committee okay so let's move on to the next question next question is the shortcut key to print document is so to print a document we will press ctrl plus p okay so this is a shortcut key to print a document now, the question is, which of the following is not a font style? Word is a font style, yes. Regular, yes. Superscript, no. This is not a font style. Again, italic is again a font style. So, superscript, not a font style. Uh, guys, questions are very easy. And I would suggest you first pause the video and try to solve this question or guess, these, uh, guess the answers on your own. Then only watch the complete video. So, moving on to the next question. Next question is, while starting MS Word, the opening menu has the default title. So, what uh, what is the default title while we start up um, uh, while we start MS Word document, right? So, the default title will document burn. Okay, if you see the default title will document burn. Moving on to the next question. Next question is selecting text means selecting a word, an entire sentence, a whole document, or any of the above. This should be above. Okay, it should be above. So to select a text means, what do you mean by select a text? So whenever we select a word or sentence or phrase or the whole part, so we can say anything. So this will be any of the above. We can select anything. We can select a to say text or itna itna bada text or itna bada text. Okay, so this will be any of the above. Moving on to the next question. The questions are very easy and pretty simple. So make sure to guess the answer first on your own. Okay. Now spelling, grammar and tosaurus are found in which tab? So these are found in review tab. Okay. Spelling, grammar and tosaurus are found in which tab? So this, these are found in review tab. Which of these toolbars allows changing of font, allows changing of fonts and their sizes? So formatting toolbar. Okay. Formatting allow you to change your font and the website. Also guys, I will give this PDF in the Telegram community with the solutions. So make sure to join our Telegram community. The link for the same is given in the description box. Shortcut key, Control plus W is used for. So I discussed this in the previous video in which I covered the questions from MS Word and applications and network security, right? So in that video, I have already discussed that this key is used to close the active window or close the current window, right? In the browser. So, it will close the current window in the browser. Okay, moving on to the next question. Next question is, which shortcut key is used to spell check in MS Word? So, to spelling check in MS Word, we will use F7. Okay, moving on to the next question. What term will be used when you hold the left key of the mouse 
on an object and move it on the slide. So when we hold the left key of the mouse on an object and move it on the slide, uh, what will be this action? So this action is drag. This option is drag. Uh, we say like drag and drop. So from taking from here and put there. So this is dragging and drop. So this is the question. Left key of the mouse on an object and move it on the slide. So this process is dragging. So this is the answer. Okay. So moving on to the next question. The next question is the special effects in a PowerPoint presentation used to introduce slides are called as. So these effects which are used in PowerPoint present to introduce slides are called transitions. Okay. So the effects that are used in PowerPoint presentation to introduce the slides are called transitions. Which of the following isn't a part of a spreadsheet? So row number is a part of a spreadsheet, column number, column letter or cell address. So column number, column number will not a part of a spreadsheet. Okay. So this will be the correct answer for that column number. Okay. Now to delete a word left of the, left of the cursor, which of the following keys use simple backspace backspace. Whenever we have to delete a word or to remove a word that is left from the cursor. So what we will press, we will press like simple backspace. So backspace will be the correct answer for that. Next question is which of the following is not a way to complete a cell entry. So to complete a cell entry, pressing enter. So whenever we are writing some text and our text has been completed or we have done with our text. So simply we press enter and it will like complete the cell entry. So this is the correct way or this is the complete way we can do our process. Now pressing any arrow key on the keyboard. If we have done with our task, if we have done with our uh, entry, so we can press any arrow key, we will out of the cell. Okay, now clicking the enter button on the formula bar. Now pressing space bar. So if, if we are writing some text or if we are entering some um, text in a cell and we press space, so this will make a space. Okay, so this will make a space, but not complete our task. So the answer for this question is pressing space bar. So if we press enter, so we will come out of the cell. That means we have completed our entry. And again, this means is also what I've discussed earlier. And this is also what I discussed earlier. Now pressing space bar will make a space and uh, we will not out of the cell. Okay, we will not. How do you select an entire column? So click the column heading letter. Okay, so by clicking the column heading letter, we can select the entire column. Moving on to the next question, to save a workbook, you. So what you will do to save a workbook? So click the save button on the standard toolbar from the menu. In any processing software, if we have to save something, so we just have to click the save button in the toolbar menu and then from there we can save it. Either we can press save or we can press as save as. Okay, so I hope it is clear to you and moving on to the next question. What purpose do bookmarks serve? So bookmarks, do you ever heard about this bookmarks? Bookmarks means in terms of reading and writing, suppose I'm write, uh, suppose I'm reading a book or suppose I'm, uh, or suppose I'm reading a diary. So, and uh, today I have completed with the reading part and uh, I want to continue with it tomorrow so what will i do like like today i read four pages now i will put a bookmark on the page four on the page five like from here i have to cover again or i have to cover tomorrow so on the fifth page i will put a bookmark so it is like i'm i'm capturing a future reference so that i if i forget that where i left so i can uh, I can remember that, oh, yes, from here I have to start now. Okay, so it is like capturing references for future use. Now, what do bookmarks serve? So, to save the document in a specific location doesn't, meet, doesn't make any sense here. To save a website's URL for future reference. Yes, it is. Like, uh, we generally do also, like, uh, there is a web page, we, we will need it again or we will need it in future so what we will do we will book move, bookmark it okay right we will bookmark it so this is the correct answer for this question which of the following is the shortcut key for print preview in ms word so to print preview we will press Control plus p okay so this will be the correct answer for that moving on to the next question uh, next question is which of the following can be looked at using the find tab 
Now this question is for your homework. You have to answer this in the comment section. Moving on to the next question. Uh, next question is how many columns can you insert into a Word document at most? So 63 columns. Okay, 63 columns we can insert in a Word document or you can do a practical of that. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Uh, Next question is, which of the following can create a vertical divide between columns? Okay, so this type of question I have already uh, discussed in the previous video. So, you have to answer it in homework. Okay, you have to answer it in homework. Moving on to the next question. Okay, so which is uh, a not of font style? Bold is font style, manuscript, italic, regular. So, these all are the font style, bold, italic and regular. And manuscript is so manuscript is something a written document that is written in Times New Roman or Arial or something else. Okay, so in a different fa font family, these all are font styles. And manuscript is manuscript is a written document. Okay, so uh, this is not a font style. Moving on to the next question. Next is what shortcut key is used for line breaks? So for line break, we will press Shift plus Enter. Shift plus enter. Moving on to the next. And next is how does MS Excel react to repeated words? So you have to answer it in the comment section. Uh, most of you are already familiar with this, I guess. Okay, so you have to answer this in homework section or in the comment section. Which is not a margin type. So if we if you have done with the web development and CSS. So, you must be familiar with this question. So, the answer will be center. Okay. Margin is of four type. Uh, top margin or bottom margin. Left margin and right margin. Okay. So, margin is of four type. These are the all types of margin and this is not the margin type. So, center will be the correct answer for that question. Moving on to the next question. Next question is shortcut key to align the center. So to align the center, we will press control plus E. Okay, so this will be the correct answer. So this is all for today from my side. I hope all the questions are clear to you. Uh, but still you have doubts, then you can ask in the comment section or in the telegram party. And guys, make sure to put the homework questions in the comment section or in the telegram party. Okay. So for any kind of discussion, you can join our Telegram community. The link for the same is given in the description box. Also, let me know that what should be the next video. So yeah, keep preparing, keep exploring. Bye-bye. Your
Maybe we could find out. Maybe. 